died. The semi driver was not hurt. Well, today kicked off a busy weekend in downtown as some bars opened up as early as 6 a.m. They've been going all day long and then this evening, Shriner Circus and Monster Jam adding the festivities. So to find out how things were going, we sent Tatiana Cash out to take a look. Well, today may be St. Patrick's Day, and usually that's more for the adults. There's tons of fun stuff for the kids to do here in downtown Toledo. So if you want, you can come down to the Glass City Center for the Shriner Circus, where you can see gorgeous giant camels, among other really cool things, right? Yes. So we've been here 71 years, bringing it to Toledo area. We're happy to do it. We do it for the kids. Our philanthropy is to help children have better lives. Uh, we run 22 hospitals, which allow us to do it. The circus's main focus is letting families have fun. There's pony rides, face painting, train rides, bounce houses. There's even noteworthy stars. Tony the Wonder Llama. Thoughts? <laughs> he is the only llama, as we know, in the world to jump through a tiny hula hoop. Meanwhile, downtown Toledoans are celebrating St. Patrick's Day with song, dance, and all things green. And with the additional foot traffic, Monster Jam at the Huntington Center sees it all as a great business opportunity. Because it really creates that centralized union of people. They can go out to eat before coming to us. They can go and do other activities before coming to Monster Jam. And I think that's what makes us so unique. So whether it's fun outside or inside, businesses and Toledo visitors like Grady win. My favorite is probably the Grave Digger. Why? Um, uh, the moves are really good and their tricks, and he's really good. So whether you're enjoying St. Patty's Day, Monster Jam, or the Shriner Circus, there's always something fun to do in downtown. Live in downtown, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11. It wasn't all Guinness and Irish coffee tonight.